said, oh, I'm just seeing a, a message saying about um, that, yeah, seeing some improvements, but at the same time, you know, a tendency to be my worst critic. And this is it. That's why I would say if you really want to focus on that and each time you notice yourself, you know, putting yourself down, criticizing yourself or whatever, say, you know, I'm sorry and put your hand on your heart and just say it like you mean it. You know, and if you're close to a mirror, just say it looking to yourself into your eyes. Because that's really the venom that we need to take out. You know. Yeah. So so yes, lovely people. Is there anything else? We just have a few minutes, and because I've got people there, I can't even you know get on. But um, yes, yeah, just remember, you know, you, we can all do it and create our perfect reality. Just you know, self love, gratitude, removing the critic, and you know, feeling bad. That's not the truth. That's just what the mind has been familiar with and has been picking up and believing when you ought to believe that you're special, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're unstoppable, you're creative, you're powerless. That's the kind of stuff that you want to believe. And, and you need to, it might sound crazy, but it works. Just talk to yourself like that. You know, I'm creating my perfect reality. I'm freeing myself from whatever is, you know, in a way. I'm releasing blocks. You know, uh, I'm done compromising on me, you know, my health, my happiness. I'm going to say what I need to say, even if, you know, some people are not going to like it. Maybe it's going to take some time for them to digest it. And but that's not your responsibility. That's it. That's the thing. This is how we can spend a lifetime just, just you know, having, feeling good, eluding us, and that has to be priority. Same with the food you eat. Of course, you want to keep it as healthy as possible. Yourself from getting what you feel you need. Anything in moderation is fine. You know, just be mindful about that. I think there's too many should, and we should do this, should, should do that. There's always that pressure, and, you know, from a place of not feeling good enough and stuff. And then we wonder why we're not enjoying the journey, you know? Just surround yourself with people that make you feel good, that make you feel happy, who you can laugh with, who you can be yourself with. And, you know, for the one of you single out there that's saying, oh, I don't like the online things, the internet and stuff, just make the most of it. Just show, you know, just say, you know, I don't like that platform, but right now, nowadays, you know, that's kind of all that, you know, that's an avenue we have. So I'm looking for somebody that's, you know, going to be, um, that's willing to be honest because I don't have time to waste, you know, that's going to say what they mean, that done with playing games, you know, that interesting in, in, you know, tuning into themselves, that realize that you are more than just that body, you know, that not just, you know, focus on the external, whatever you feel you need, but, you know, not, oh, you have to be that tall, dark and handsome or whatever, you know, you're looking for, but really talking values, really talking, you know, um, principles, things that are important for you. And um, if you haven't had that kind of homework question for me before, you know, give yourself that. What are my values? Spend, you know, the next 30 minutes, or hour, you know, you don't need that long, but, you know, 30 minutes asking yourself, what are my values? You know, because that just really, this is what you're going to be standing for. And, and you're not going to um, get yourself in a way uh, swayed it. and you know even in relationship that fear of losing yourself in an other comes from not being clear on your values you know if you if you are so clear and attached to that that's not going to change for anybody you know if you say uh, you know speaking my truth is so important to me I can't even imagine not being able to do that but anybody that can't understand that or that can't relate to that, they don't have much to do in your life or literally nothing, you see? And this is, again, just speaking what we need to say in order to, to yes, create our, our life and not let the fear step in the way. And if you haven't read it just for Christmas, give yourself that, feel the fear and do it anyway um, by Susan Jeffries. And...
yeah, just make that your priority. And you feel, you know, at first, because it's maybe a bit unfamiliar, it's going to be a bit difficult, but then it's just, it just becomes second nature and you, you're really standing up for yourself. You know, we're talking about this inner child. You have to be there for it, you know? The pain that it got to experience earlier, you know, in this life journey, you couldn't really stand up for it because when we're children, you know, childhood is our most powerless time. You know, we feel children, they're powerless, they're powerless to the environment, they're powerless to the adults around them, they're powerless to what they hear and they're being told. And this is how, you know, our subconscious gets solidified, created. And then we have to do this work of unpacking and, you know, taking all the junk out. But once we do, we get back to, to that carefulness, you know, that's where we knew we didn't have to work so hard to, to, to feel love or to be accepted. We could just be ourselves, you know? So ultimately we want to get back to that. And the moment you, you, you make peace with yourself and stop caring about the rest of the world, it's just like, it's very freeing. And that, that invites you and encourage you to do more of that. So, that's my wish for you for this, you know, <laughs> end of year and coming year. And um, yes, just um, all the best. Have a great year. Imagine that if the, you know, end of year, the Christmas and all the stuff, a lot of family times, that can be a bit challenging as well because our inner child gets, you know, um, what's the word, exposed to its kind of starting environment. So same, you know, just go very strongly, you know, you, you can't even imagine, you know, a strong electromagnetic field surrounding you, keeping you nice and safe and, you know, and, you know, just standing love with everyone. Somebody kind of triggers you, just remember they hurt, they're hurting, you know, and there's that feeling that needs to, and use your voice, don't feel that you, you have to, um, to hide or, you know, just say who you are and imagine that you're going to have a great, you know, Christmas dinner or whatever. And this is exactly what you will get, you know. But if you go there thinking, ah, oh, it's going to be tough, and, you know, this is exactly what you will get. So remember, the mind's going to give you what you ask or what you tell it. So just wherever you go, all the Christmas party, all the things, you know, it's going to be great, it's going to be fun, it's going to be enjoyable. Uh, you're going to be able to be yourself. Everything is an, uh, what you call it, uh, a chance to, to play with that, you know, to be at your most authentic, to keep yourself feeling so good in yourself that nothing or no one can um, mess your vibration, so to speak. I think it's um, Ram Das that said, if you want to know if you're enlightened, go and spend a week with your family and <laughs> you will see. <laughs> so, you know, it's always, you can gauge your progress and that's what's beautiful, you know, you, you're able to see how, you know, and that's the thing, when nobody can disturb your peace, yes, I'm coming. <laughs> when nobody can disturb your peace, then, you know, you know, it's okay. It's like, you're fine. You're free to be you. So you just give yourself that tune in. And even if you're busy, just say, ah, five minutes for that. Ah, you know, we have to prioritize that over the social media, over the, the other thing kind of taking our attention and trying to distract us, right? So I will stop on this word. I'm sorry, I would like to stay, but I have to go.